Oh, I think overall it was a success, definitely, as you said. Um, we won the test matches that we, we absolutely needed to win, Canada, USA, uh, under very different conditions. Um, and uh, then we performed pretty well against uh, Argentina. Um, certainly uh, that first half try we scored has gone viral and it's probably one of the best tries, people are saying, one of the best tries scored uh, in world rugby uh, this year. So, you know, again, that, that's, a, that, that's a huge credit to, to us and, and certainly to score 29 points against uh, the team that got fourth in the World Cup is pretty good. So um, there's lots of things that we still need to improve, um, not only on the field but off the field as well. But, you know, we, we, we wanted to put ourselves under pressure on this tour. Again, the June series were, are always difficult because we have to travel. And uh, you know the amount of travel that we did in, on this tour from one end of America to the other was uh, was a challenge in itself. And so you know, if you weigh up all the all the um, the difficulties of the tour, uh, you'd have to say that it was a success. Yeah, definitely. Uh, hopefully, we've developed in the last five years, Sandra. Um, no, I think we've improved certainly from the from 2012. We're totally different. Not totally, but we're we're. Uh, uh, a very different side now than we were back then um, and both those matches against Canada and USA we got beaten by 20, 20 odd points more so um, yeah I mean look we, we were pleased about that and there was a number of guys on this tour who were on that 2012 tour so that was a challenge to them as well that I gave them. The weather has a ma massive influence so there's two things that have influences in a game that you can't control, well, there's three actually, there's the opposition, there's the weather, uh, sorry the referee and then the final thing is the weather. So again, uh, howling wind, uh, you know, wind chill factor of minus 20, uh, it's as cold as charity as we say in English. Uh, it, it was as cold as anything that I've experienced in my life. The field uh, itself? Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the actual, the field was, was no problem, but the weather itself with a big wind uh, going from, from left to right, uh, you know, so again, the quality of play really is designed, is designated by the, by the by the weather to some degree and if you watch the All Blacks versus the British Lions in the, in the last two games exactly the same thing wet weather can't play expensive rugby has to be tight so like uh, you, you, you know you, that's that's uh, that's just the way that it, uh, it is because that's the way that the weather dictates it so um, you know and again uh, for us to come out 13, 13 nil winners I was pretty pleased with that because that first half when we defended against the uh, defended against the wind and kept Canada at zip, uh, when they had 60% of the possession as well, was was a really good defensive effort by our guys and and our our big boys, our uh, tight five especially, played very very well. No, we didn't plan that, but certainly you know it's a nice little um, uh, memorable Flavor. moment for him. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? 100 100 games. We always knew that Kutchie's hundredth was going to be Canada. So, uh, you know, again, that was big for him, big for us as well. And, and again, there was a challenge thrown down to everybody in, that, in the whole squad that were going to play that day that, uh, you know, what I said to them is that they need to come off and they need to say to Kutchi that we've played, given our best, our best game today for his 100th. And, you know, a lot of guys came off and they did that. So we were pretty pleased. But, you know, that's fantastic for Kutchi. You know, it's the second guy that to, to reach 100 and hopefully we'll have, you know, Bingo make his, uh, be the third. You know, he's got about three or four games to go I think and you know so again but it's a great milestone for these guys great great milestone for Georgian rugby you know exactly. what I mean and um, you know to have three within a calendar year or within a sorry within 12 months of each other is just fantastic and you know may there be many more 21-3 uh, up you know with uh, with 10 minutes already on the board in the second half and we were we were cruising really and and that seemed to be what it was like a little bit um, you know we, we sort of uh, then gave away gave away a lot of possession. We gave away a couple of silly penalties, and we got one guy sinbinned, um, you know, just through a silly error. Um, and then and then that put, put we put pressure on ourselves really. Uh, you know, they scored from against the run of play. Uh, we actually had that we had a counter ruck. We actually won the ball and then gave it up again. And then they they scored from broken play. So and that sent them on a bit of a roll. You know, they got a bit of momentum, and then all of a sudden, you know, yeah, we, we were we were we were struggling a little bit and again it was 32 degrees 70 percent humidity and so I think that was just starting to take take its toll on us and um, 
you know, and we were starting to fade a bit. But I was really, I was really pleased because one of the things for me is that we would have lost in four, four or five years ago. We would have lost that game, undoubtedly. You know what I mean? Uh, but you know, again, once it started to get close and we started feeling the pressure, instead of panicking, the boys settled themselves down, just said, right, you know, we can defend. We know we can defend. We knew how USA were going to play. We'd done our our analysis, so. Um, you know, they kept their heads and, and they ended up coming through and, and, and in the end, you know, um, you know, we were probably deserved winners really, you know, so uh, scored, a, scored a nice try and, and, and got a penalty try and so, you know, I, I think we, were, we would have been um, disappointed if we hadn't won that game. So, but you know, came through, I was really pleased, again it was a tough, tough conditions for us in terms of the weather, uh, with the heat and the humidity, um, the travel. And, and to come away again as, as victors, uh, two from two, you know, that was really important for us. The game was in two halves really, the first half and the second half. And we talked about it and uh, you know, what, what was going to give us a chance of winning the game. We talked about it was discipline, it was one of them. Uh, making sure that we, could believe, we believed that we could win the game was, was another one. And then um, you know, just making sure that uh, you know, we, 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 we played how we trained. Um, and in the first half, we just gave away too many penalties. I mean, we we gave away eight penalties in the first 25 minutes, which killed us. You know what I mean? Just let the let the game slip. So again, that was disappointing for us. And um, thank you. And and it's just a matter of uh, you know we got back into the changing room at halftime and said, look, you know it's 20 something, three or whatever it was, eight. Uh, you know we've got no, we've got nothing to lose. We just have to really go and play. And that second half, a little bit like Scotland, was exactly what we did. We we, we came came out and we started playing rugby. And you know we're a much better team when we believe that we can play rugby. You know, much better team. So we can use the strength of our forwards and our scrum and our line and our maul, but we can also, you know, use the ball and play with a bit of width. And and when we do that, we we are such a much better team. So. Again, um, as you say, scored 29 points against Puma, four tries, uh, you know, one penalty try as well with a good scrum and uh, remembering that we, that we never had our, you know, perceived best tight heads on the field as well. Um, you know, that was, that, was a, that was a pretty good effort. Um, so, yeah, there was so many good things to, to talk about in that game. Our young guys played really, really well. Our young props, you know, uh, came on and stood up. And so, you know, that, that's all good for us going forward. Um, but you know, we, you just wish that we had just a little bit more discipline in that first half that could have kept us close. And who knows? You know, we, for us to beat one of these big teams, we have to be close at halftime. We've got to be close because the closer we are at halftime, the more pressure that goes on to the big teams, and that mounts for them. And then we can play some rugby, and who knows what can happen? But yeah, so good, another good lesson for us, that's for sure. But you know, we do. Uh, you're right. I mean, we're not. We're not far away. But the reality is, is that. Uh, you know, whether you're one point or one hundred point, it's, it's you, ha you haven't you haven't done it until you've yeah, done it. Know, you know yeah. what I mean? So we again, it's more self belief. It's more uh, you know more training. It's more you know getting making sure that our guys are uh, fitter when we get into get into camps and stuff like that. So again, um, that's our work on. Uh, you know, but I'm pretty sure it's going to happen soon. I'm absolutely sure of it. I mean, if you look at it, it came from a, a, a counter attack, uh, received a kick inside our own 22. We're, Lasha Kamaladze, uh, you know, counter-attacked and he did well. It went through, I think, six or seven pair, pairs of hands, all backs, uh, you know, to, and when have we ever seen that, um, you know, to, to be able to score. And, you know, that, that, that little interchange of passes in the middle there where, where it went from, I think it went to Lasha to, uh, to, uh, to, Tazo. to Tazo, then back to Kachi, then back into Waska. Uh, Waska. I mean that that kind of little exchange of passes was just you know uh, any All Black would have been any All Black side would have been proud to score that try absolutely any any team in the world would have been proud to score that try so again that shows you the progress that we've we've made and certainly the you know, the Puma coaches after after the Test match uh, and Augustine Creevy as well at the after match spoke very highly and praised us very highly of the progress that we've made and as Augustine Creevy said their captain uh, you know. Every year, you guys just keep improving, 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 and so that's huge credit uh, from somebody who's, you know, obviously a, a, a very experienced captain and player. And then for the the Puma coaches, I had a meeting with them Sunday morning, and for the Puma coaches to to really talk about us in glowing light, to say that you know you guys are just 
you're growing so fast, you know, and you're getting better so quickly. And I've never seen a team get uh, progress quite as quickly as we have. And that's huge, comment, uh, uh, it's huge praise for us and um, something that we can, we can be proud of uh, because they, they're, they're a very good side, as I say. Quarter uh, semi finalists in last year's last uh, World Cup and one of the better teams in the world once they, you know, they should have beaten England uh, certainly in that first test match. And uh, you know they had their chances in the second test match as well, but so they're a good side, and so to get that praise from such quality people and such quality coaches is re really outstanding for us. Exactly, it, it, it's got a bit of barbarian flair to it, doesn't it? So certainly, champagne and the barbarians go together. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so uh, you know, we're, we're, we're pleased that people are, are tagging at that, or certainly giving it that description, because certainly we feel proud of it. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure you can say that, but <laughs> um, you'd have to say that we'd be in the top two or three. That's for sure. By by all means, you know what I mean. And and I suppose the proof of the pudding is when we play uh, tier one teams more regularly, and then we can compare ourselves every year against the best of the best. Then 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 we'll be able to describe, give ourselves a better description. But certainly, I, I, I would say that you could ask any other coach of any other team in the world. And they would say that Georgia, the Georgian scrum would have to be up there. There's no doubt about that. Um, so again, you know, it, we've always been good at that area. Uh, it's something that we need to keep working on and keep getting better at. You know what I mean? If you can get better, you can always get better at doing something. So, but you know, certainly, um, as I said earlier, if you also uh, take in the account that we didn't have our perceived top tight heads on the park, uh, well, then you know that's even even something else to say about our, uh, the depth that we have in our players and certainly uh, because really I thought played very well that game gave himself a lot of confidence you know after, after that match yeah yeah and um, you know and then and then Nico who flew halfway around the world to get there on Friday and then to sit on the bench on Saturday again you know speaks massive for him he's, he's such a great kid you know such a great great player and a good person as well to have around our team, you know what I mean? So so I thought they did really well. And and then uh, Matarazze comes on in the second half for uh, Nariashvili and, and, and still yeah, does well. You know. feels that yeah. wasn't there if you wouldn't know. Well, I mean, you, you, everybody feels something, you know, when <laughs> Misha's on there, that's for sure. But uh, certainly, again, we think that some of those young guys really took a step up on this tour. And, um, you know, we've got some huge depth within our within our propping positions now. Obviously, we're, we're good at scrummaging. We're, everybody knows that in the world. But again, we we, we think we can still be, be better. So and that's great. Yeah, that's that's you know, we know we're good at it, but we know we, we know we can still keep improving. Um, right. In terms of back play, again, you know, I'd, I I'd say that you know we've been looking to improve our back play since I've come. Uh, you know, and, and that that shows because we use the ball a lot a, a lot more with width. Uh, we have done in the last four or five years. Um, it's always something that we need to continue to keep working on and get confident about. Uh, because when we do, when we are confident about using the ball, we score those tri types of tries that you that you saw that you saw that uh, Kacharava scored. So, so again, it's just uh, you know continuing to improve in all facets of our game, really, because that's what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. The original idea about these gene tests was to give us better better competition, uh, because rather than have the Blesey Cup. Uh, this was, this was uh, the replacement really that, that could improve our rugby and it's certainly done that. Uh, we knew, we always knew that June tests we'd have to travel which again put us under pressure because you know we, we're always strong at home we know that but to travel sometimes we haven't been as consistent but we've shown the last two years when we've travelled in June to the Pacific and then now to the Americas that uh, we can handle the travel. Um, again the amount of travel with b between the, the test matches in this tour was huge. Uh, the, you know, the time I think it was 26 hours it took us to get from Calgary down to Atlanta. You know, generally it takes you four or five hours to fly there. It took us 26 hours to get there this time. You know what I mean? So, so the travel, the travel is just the travel. So you have to get used to that. Uh, but it means that your week doesn't start till Tuesday or Wednesday, really. You know what I mean? Because you're trying to recover. Um, so, but we always knew that this was part of our learning and part of getting better at doing these sorts of things, part of getting used to it, so that during World Cups, you know, we could be better at, at this type of stuff. And so, 
and also playing teams in their own backyard is also important for us. November is always an important window for us. Um, autumn tests are very important, so again, we'll assemble the strongest side that we've got to be able to, to, to assemble. Uh, that's important. Uh, and again, we've got the, re the return matches of uh, USA and Canada, and those are important to win at home, absolutely. So they, they, they're must wins for us. And then we've got Wales in the middle. Uh, we've got the uh, Wales away in Cardiff, and again, it's another opportunity for us. You know, yeah, exactly. Millennium Stadium and uh, iconic team like Wales. You know, so again, it's really important for us to we get another opportunity in the same year to play a Tier One team. Uh, so again, that, that's a, that'll be a challenge for us, and let's hope we can learn from the lessons of Argentina and we can take those into the Welsh team and have a really good performance. So, but definitely the, uh, we'll, be, we'll be assembling the strongest possible side, that's for sure. He's somebody that we think's got a lot of athletic ability, he's got a lot of natural talent. Uh, he's, he's a natural attacker, so he likes to get the ball in his hand, he likes to beat people, he's, got, he's quick, he's got good feet, uh, he's good under the ball and he, and, he, and he kicks goals as well. So he plays fullback for his club quite a bit, um, but we certainly see him as a, saw him as a winger. Uh, but certainly I think he showed against uh, Argentina that he's, he can offer a little bit in terms of uh, being at fullback as well. Um, so, you know, he's certainly somebody, uh, you know, that the coaches rate high, highly. Um, he's still got a long way to go in terms of his development and his positional play. So, uh, but yeah, certainly he, as an athlete, he's, uh, you know, he's one, of the, he's one of our best. So again, um, he, he's, he's had that opportunity. He's got a taste at fullback. He's played winger for us as well. Now it's his opportunity or it's his, his, his job now to, to prove that he's good enough to start in one of those positions every test. That'll be up to him in the long run. Well, he's a, he comes from a sevens background, obviously. He made the national team from the sevens campaigns. So the very first person to be able to do that. Uh, so that's, 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 a, that's a great uh, testament in itself. Um, but again, uh, you know, he's had an opportunity and it's, it's now his job to keep proving himself because uh, one, one test being selected means nothing. You've got to keep proving yourself every, every, every time to be able to be selected. Is, is there anybody else? Well, there, there certainly could be. Um, we, we, we watched all those matches with interest. Um, <clears throat> we're always, the, the coaches and selectors are always looking for who's next. Uh, and, and certainly we thought, um, you know, there were a number of guys that put their hand up. We were really pleased about. We thought the captain played very well during our, during the tour. Led very well as well. Seems to be uh, somebody that's got a calm head. He's a, he's got a very good high work rate, and, and we like that. Um, obviously, uh, the young ten as well. You know, he's what he's only 18, so he's got another couple of years in in, in 20s. But he's somebody that uh, is probably plays a lot older than he really is. He makes good decisions. Uh, he, he controls people in front of him, which is, which is a very, really, really big plus for somebody so young to, to control what's happening and to direct play as well as he does. He's got a good kicking game and he attacks the line well. So, yeah, and then you've got Geller, obviously, who you know probably was the, one of the tournament stars really. And that last try against Ireland was, you know, just something that only he could probably produce really because he's he's that type of player. But. Um, you know, so there, there, there's certainly some guys we, 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 that we took notice, no, notice of. Um, but again, big jump from 20s to, to, to senior test level, and it's you know, there's no doubt some of those guys will get a get a get a trial in the next couple of years before World Cup, just to see if they can. Um, uh, whether that's this year or next year, we're not too sure. But certainly, um, you know, first first and foremost, we were just so pleased that Elia and his 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 coaching team and his management team were able to secure their place, especially um, the, all the pressure that they had being at home, because there's added pressure to that. And, um, you know, the, the, certainly, uh, from my mind, the fitness of the, the players really showed, uh, especially in that second match against Argentina. You could see that our team was much fitter than the Argentinians, and, and, and in the end, we came away with a really good, important win that, that, that's important for us. And to hold our status as the, the, top, the top tier, top nations in the, in, in the world, really important for us. So, you know, big congratulations to the coaching staff and the management and everybody involved, because that, that was just a fantastic effort. So, you know, so that's, the future's bright. There's some good young guys coming future's through bright, there. Right. Future's very bright. So, you know, there's some good young players coming through our age grades. And th that's probably the difference between us and everybody else in tier two at the moment, is that our development program's going really, really well. 
whereas if you compare to some of the other countries it's probably not so uh, you know that's one of our points of difference at the moment and something that we've got to keep progressing as we go through. Georgian front rowers is that they're all guys who can catch and pass and run uh, that's just modern development I mean because everybody's watching what's happening in all over the world and these days uh, that's what you've got to be able to do um, so not just scrum and lift in a line out but you've also got to be able to make tackles hit rucks carry pass um, you know you've got to have skill sets as well and if you look at uh, certainly our, our age grade players not just in our under 20s but our 18s as well you can see guys who can all do that now so I mean that's fantastic because again that's what we love but they've got to be able to scrum as well so <laughs> we don't want to lose that but uh, you know so again that's important for us but uh, you know it's it's fantastic to see that's for sure